Using a CAS calculator, solve sine 4x is equal to a half, where x is an element of 0 to pi. On the CAS calculator, go into the main menu. Now before we go too far into solving this, we need to make sure we have the correct settings on our calculator. So when we're dealing with solving trigonometric equations, as a general rule, you want radians to appear down here. And then you also want to be in real and standard to make sure you get the exact answers. So now that we have our calculator settings correct, what we want to do is put our equation in. So if we press keyboard, we can click on the trig tab, and this will bring up our sine, cosine, and tan functions that we can use. So we want to solve sine of 4x is equal to 1 half, and then we're solving that over a particular domain. So if we go into Math 3, you can see that there's this straight up and down line here in blue, and that allows us to restrict the domain for what we're solving. So we want to put in between 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to pi. Now if we highlight all of that, including the domain restriction, and go interactive equation inequality solve for x, that will give us the four solutions over this domain, and we can hit this arrow just to tab across so we can see all of those answers. So the four solutions from the CAS calculator were x is equal to pi divided by 24, x is equal to 5 pi divided by 24, x is equal to 13 pi over 24, and x is equal to 17 pi over 24. So they are the four exact solutions to this equation. We can also find decimal solutions using the graph screen. Back on the calculator, just before we finish up, we're going to explore solving this graphically. So if you click on the graph icon, that will bring up this screen. And then we can drag in both sides of the equation. So one thing we're going to graph is sine of 4x, and that's going to come up in blue. And then we're also going to graph y equals a half, and look for the points of intersection. Once again, we had a restricted domain, so if we click on the four arrows, that allows us to change the view screen. And we want to go between x is 0 and pi. And then we want to go perhaps from negative 2 to positive 2. And if we hit OK, that will show us the four solutions as four points of intersection between sine of 4x and y equals a half. So if we go analysis, G solve, intersection, that finds us our first intersection at about 0 0.13. If we hit execute, that will lock that point on the graph. Clicking the right arrow on the hard keypad will bring up the next solution. So if we hit execute, that's about 0 0.65. Hitting the right arrow again will bring up the third solution. Hitting execute will lock that on. And going across again and hitting execute shows us all the solutions. So if we quickly go back up into the main menu, if we just change these from exact to decimal, we can see that the same values of 0 0.13, 0 0.65, 1.70 and 2.23 are all the same as the decimal solutions we found in the graph screen. So just for our interest, the decimal solutions were x is equal to 0 0.13, x is equal to 0 0.65, x is equal to 1.70, and x is equal to 2.23. However, it's really important to note that unless otherwise specified, we need to give the exact solutions to these equations. So, and to ensure that we have exact solutions, we should always use the main menu and the solve command to do that, not the graph screen of the calculator.